Hey everyone, welcome to RoboCraze. Today, we will be talking about ESP32, the successor of ESP8266. Now, it can perform as a completely standalone system and provides Bluetooth plus Wi Fi functionality. We want to make a web server using ESP. Let's first look at the connections. As you can see, we are using two LEDs, the output of which we are controlling through an HTML page. Now coming to the code, first we include the Wi-Fi library which contains the Wi-Fi functionalities for the ESP32. Then for the Wi-Fi we wish our ESP to connect to, we define the SSID and password for it. We make a header file which will contain the HTTP request. This block is for the LEDs which contains the states and the GPIO pin we use for the LEDs. Now in the setup, we are letting our ESP connect to Wi-Fi and after it's connected, it displays the IP. The function used is Wi-Fi.begin for connecting and Wi-Fi.localIP for the ESP's IP. Now in the loop function, you'll see we first check if the client is connected and while the client is connected, we run an FLS block which checks for the conditions of the outputs of the LEDs and the input for these come from the HTML page. Now we will scroll down. So this which you can see on the screen is our FLS block. It contains four conditions for the four outputs of two LEDs and below it is the HTML document we are printing on the client. Then we upload the code and on the serial monitor we see the ESP connects to Wi-Fi and shows its IP. The new client at the end is for the client which is connected. In this case we are connecting our mobile. So we first make sure that the mobile is on the same Wi-Fi network as the ESP32. Now go back and open the browser. As we had seen in the serial monitor, we put the same IP on the browser. So this is our HTML web page. It can be accessed on any device which can open a browser on the local network. As you see, we are controlling the LEDs from our phone which is connected to the Wi-Fi. So this communication is happening wirelessly. So what we did was connecting our ESP to the Wi-Fi. Now we can also create a Wi-Fi hotspot using our ESP or using the function which is on the screen. We can do both. AP stands for access point and STA stands for station. Now let's move into the code for this. We again include the Wi-Fi library for the ESP, but this time, besides including the SSID and password for the Wi-Fi we are connecting to, we also include the SSID and password that will be our ESPs for other devices to connect to it. And the setup, you see us defining the Wi-Fi mode as Wi-Fi underscore AP underscore STA. Wi-Fi dot soft AP lets us create the access point. Now on your phone, you may open the Wi-Fi settings. Now we want to connect to our ESP, the SSID for which is defined as trying AP underscore STA. Now choose our ESP and type the password which in our case is the numbers 1 to 9. And as you can see after we press connect, our mobile connects to the ESP. So we have successfully created a hotspot using ESP and we used our ESP in Wi-Fi AP plus STA mode. Now you may combine the previous program in this or do more. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.